We technically, we live really close to the Tumbo Basin, but we don't actually live in the Tumbo Basin. Have you yeah, noticed? Every time you walk out, yeah, you go yeah. to the furnace or whatever, you go through the Tumbo Basin. It's like uh, my house to the next town over. I'm like six mm-hmm. or seven houses from the next town over. Right. My mother growing up, uh, her bedroom was in the next town over. What? Yeah, no joke. How's that legal? Uh, they redrew the town lines after the house was there. <laughs> and they just they just did on a map. They didn't like go around and survey or anything. What the heck? It's so technically, her bedroom was in the in the next town. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so not technically like le- like legitimately like her next door neighbor was in the next town over. Correct. That's so weird. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know if it's still like that though. <laughs> Did somebody wander over and just go, "Oh, I made a mistake." Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like forever, if, yeah, whoever lives there would find it a novelty, but maybe somebody complained and was like, "I want my house to make sense." Well, I wonder what that means as far as like, like taxes and stuff. Because do taxes well, just where you? Or... No, they they didn't get taxed. Didn't get taxed. That would have been a a uh, what should I call it? Publicity nightmare. That would have been a publicity <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> what just happened? That was weird. Right. PR disaster. That's the word I was looking for. PR. I think don't they do it by driveway? Is that how it works? Yeah, because I have a friend who whose house is backwards. Their front door faces the woods because they were going to build a street. So originally it was on, say, like River Road. Uh huh. And then Main Street and River Road intersected, but they never built houses on River Road. So his address was originally supposed to be like one River Road, but now it's like 240 Main Street, for example. Huh. And, and you have to go into his house through the garage, and if you go out the front door, you just end up in like a yard. That's. It's really weird. If I haven't been to your house, I would think that where you live doesn't exist. Your, your mom was in a different town when she was growing up, and like your your friend's house well, is just my, facing the woods. My mom grew up in Prometheus too, so <laughs> that's a that's a real place. You know that exists. I can't believe that rumbles all the way over here. I can. That's that is messed up, man. Because it scares me every time, even though we've never seen a worm over here. Doesn't mean there can't be one. That's that is fair. I don't think the space worms care about our um, arbitrary claim to this land. Yeah, that's that's fair. Can the 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 nefarious uh, monkey scorpions or whatever they're called, they certainly don't care about it. No, they don't. Those things are terrible. I think those are scarier than the space worms. In appearance, but maybe not necessarily in practice. Hmm. I'll give it to you. Can you kill a space worm? No. Hmm. Maybe with like a rocket ship. Maybe. I s- <laughs> I pretty sure I was, you can. Mm-hmm. I just said I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. I was looking around the um the engineering side before. Mm-hmm. And I did see that there were like, you know, vehicles and such and yeah. uh, I'm working on that. I'm not thanks because I'm not I'm not saying I want to rush you or anything. But uh, this this trip to get gases would be a lot easier if I had a car. <laughs> you, you be quiet, you. I'm just saying, you know, for your consideration. Yeah, you know what we should do once we get um, rovers and stuff. What? We should have a race. We should. We oh, could man. like put obstacles around. We could race around the lake. It could be one of the tracks. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be uh, sweet. We need like a garage. I guess you probably can't build a garage. You just park the road. Well, wherever. you could with custom, custom panels. Oh my gosh. We could have garages. We're gonna have like a carriage house. You can build um. Like hovercrafts too, I think. Really. Yeah. 
I don't know. I'm I'm I've, I'm always. I saw there's like a mech too or something like that. Yeah, the, the ro- we got a rover, hovercraft, mm-hmm. spaceship, ground assault vehicle, cool. mechanized suit. Hmm. Um. Another mech. Does combat have anything? What's this? Ground turrets. Yeah, so you can get mechs, assault vehicles, hovercraft. Hovercraft is is a one man vehicle that can travel quickly and over many terrains. That's probably really useful. Probably. Is the uh, like the actual just plain vehicle one? Is that a two man vehicle? Mm. Rover is a large all terrain vehicle for exploration, exploration and transport of supplies. Ooh. See, that's what I need for this gas. That's what we need. I'm getting close to building it, so don't worry. I'll get there soon. Okay. I mean, I'm not worried. I'm just like, just. I guess just... I shouldn't say don't worry. I should say don't get anxious. Okay. Because well, I'm, I'm mean... the same boat as you. I want these. <laughs> yes. Yes. I I I don't want to have to try and outrun this this worm on foot every time I want to come and collect a high yeah, yeah. You get tired eventually, right? It's just a bind game with a a killer that I don't feel like playing. <laughs> It's gonna make enough steel. No, it's not. Because it happens twice. Like I have to outrun it in both directions, on my way out and on my way back. Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> I didn't even consider that. Yeah. That's pretty funny, actually. It's not for you, but it is for me. Yeah. It's gonna be coming any minute now when it starts to rumble. I guess there's maybe there's a trigger spot for it. I think it's within a certain range. Oh, there it is. I'd rather run back a little encumbered than drop it. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's... Yeah. I agree. I agree. Good job. This is why I hired you for my space mission. Yeah. That and because you can catch me. Yeah, exactly. Wow, the jetpack really doesn't... Doesn't work when you're... uh, No, it does not. It has no interest in... In propelling you. you. Gotta shed some weight from your fat behind. From your perfectly poly- polygonal butt. Mm hmm. <laughs> I guess you didn't specify if it was large large polygons or small polygons. I did not. And I guess I can't see because I did the third person. Oh, I guess I can kind of see. It's a. It's a. Well, I'm, I'm running off my, my extra polygons. There you go. Burn those polygons. Yep. We can build a gym too for for can space we? creatures that wanna. Oh no, no, I was being facetious. Oh, okay. For for space creatures that wanna burn off their extra polygons. Hmm. That's a good. We idea. might make some good money, you know. You know, this is just a lot of venture. Well, mm, we have to. I think our All first right, look, manner of business. We are the only people here, so we gotta capitalize on everything. We do, but before we do any of that, we have to actually create a um. An economy first like a global economy oh uh, yeah that's true good point okay i just made a bunch of rubber and by a bunch i mean six doesn't seem like a lot but <laughs> no i guess it doesn't seem like a lot um i also have 29 science so guess what i'm buying uh oxygen heater Yep. Is that what it's called? Climate control and oxygen filtration. Yeah, oxygenator. Okay, good. Oh, nice. You got 50, uh, Ooh. 50, 50 stuff. So the... Uh, I need 40 more science to get to agriculture. Okay. And, uh, but the next thing is a water rec- reclamation. I am 174% encumbered right now. What is wrong with you? I'm just transporting the goods. Oh, yeah, okay. Here, let me help. So can we make oxygen innators now? Uh probably. And do we Although have I the have stuff to looked. do it. Well you got you have twenty six science, right? Yeah, no, I can make it. I just haven't looked to see if oh, I okay. Yeah, let's see what it costs to make. Okay. Uh, it's probably furniture. Because this game's that? weird. Yep. I get furniture. We need aluminum circuit board titanium and wires we got all that stuff do we 
Yep. We got eight circuit boards, nine wires. We can only make one. I am. I just need titanium, which is right there, and I can make us an oxygenator. It's not gonna do anything though. Why? Because it only does one room. Remember? Well, yeah. Unless they changed it. They we can make it. more than one. I don't think we have enough for more than one. Yeah, we do. We have. Oh, we do. We have nine. We need eight aluminum, one circuit board, four oh, titanium. I thought we needed multiple circuit boards. How much? Um, how much wire do we need? I mean, I think. Let's see. For each one. There are no available locations to build this furniture here. What does that mean? Oh, it needs to be against uh, a non-windowed wall. Did you try to put it in the storage room? All right, I'll fix. I'll fix that. Go ahead and put it in the main room, and I'll I'll fix the storage room so that we have space for it. Let's see, furniture, oxygenator. Where where in the main room do you want it? Do you care? Um, no. Just I guess don't put it in a spot where we might want something else that's like we have to access. Well, I was gonna put it immediately when you like right here. No, or do you put think it like? Put it here. Put it there. Yeah, put it there. Yeah, yeah. Because this one's going to be the penthouse. Right. And we're not going to need anything. This is good for like an extra storage we can put here. Okay, so this is an oxygen safe zone. Nice. Oh, it is. It works even though <laughs> this isn't. Sure. It. Okay. All right, science. <laughs> Put that knife away. Never. Do you want me to fix this now? Do you want um, to put one in here? It's probably not a bad idea, just so that we can oxygenate the whole house. Yeah, okay. I'll, uh... I guess we can't oxygenate the top. Actually, yeah. It's I not can, all windows up there. I, I can build three. Exactly three. It's wires that we need. Okay. Um, We only need three, right? Because there's only three habitats? Yeah, for now. Yeah, so we're perfect. Okay, nice. Um, where do I want to put the one here? Hmm. I guess... Um, call the elevator when you have a second. Uh, yeah, sure. Because I want you to help figure out where this one up here should go, because you've been house building, so you may have a greater plan than I do. Oh, I'm, I'm not, like, going to be super particular about it. I just don't want to, I just don't want to break this, like, have to rebuild it, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, up here, I didn't have any plans because it's kind of like, it's just whatever up here. Well, this is where the, um, the connector will go if there's another room above the storage room. Okay. So, so not there. I'm thinking not there. So then I guess this I is probably a safe spot because we're not going to have two rooms next to each other. Right. Yeah. Okay. Put it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need normal wall. One steel, one aluminum. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't have to run all the way across. I just go right here and get it. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like, hmm, we got oxygen here, and the door's open. It's like it's like when you come home and your dad's like, I don't want to heat the whole neighborhood. Close the door. <laughs> I don't want to heat the whole planet. Close the, close the wall. Do you, are you trying to give oxygen to all of Prometheus too? Mm. Are you? Uh, Apparently, either these these monsters don't breathe the way we do, or there's more oxygen on here than we think. Mm. It just might not be enough for us. So, do I want to put this right here? Yes, you do. Look oh, those are cool. Look at this. These are neat. You know what you know what you'll enjoy? What? Run. Run in the house. Run in the house. Whoa. It's because of the oxygen, you can run faster. Wow. Because you can actually breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Holy oh. wow. Oh god, I'm dehydrated. It's from running too fast in the house. <laughs> Ugh. Um, should I keep the glass containers in the the storage food? Locker. Um, I don't think it matters because you can put you can put them wherever you want, either in there or in the uh, 
other one. Well, we only because, need them for water, so. Well, you need them for sap and other stuff. Well, we only need them for water right now. Right now, yeah. It doesn't matter. You can put them wherever you want. So I'm going to admire our house from the deadly heights of this archway. Look at that. Yeah. Well, uh, fellow astronaut Brandeis, uh, I'm just fall. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hmm? Oh, no. I need you to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't touching the keyboard, and I just kind of like... Th oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. My guy just decided he was going to walk off the edge. Oh, my. Oh, okay. I'm getting at it. I'm getting down. I'm getting down from here. This is scary. This is really scary. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Anyway. I was going to say, fellow astronaut friend, I think we were incredibly productive today. I think so, too. Ooh, can I be more productive for a hot second? And um, <laughs> this is a pun, even though I didn't intend for it to be one, because can I make a climate controller? Oh, yeah, I'll allow it. Built to regulate the temperature inside living quarters, built inside a habitat. Cool. So uh, I can't. Oh, we can build it in here. So should I put it in here? Um Okay. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see it because of this shadow. Yeah. So that just regulates the temperature in here now. Cool. We don't have to do anything. It just does it by itself. It looks like an old um, stereo I used to have. <laughs> Did that stereo regulate the climate? I was big enough to be an air conditioner. I suppose that's so... basically what I just built as an air conditioner. Yeah, I think so. So what's the Bye. point of that, though? What's the point? Of the uh, the giant air conditioner? Could. Um, I guess because we can probably put stuff in here that changes the temperature. Like, maybe there's a furnace or something we can put in here? Hmm, maybe. Okay, I'm content. Are you content? I am. I'm super content. That was good. That was fun. Yep. Thank you, astronaut Brandeis slash Chris. Yes, thank you. Oh, I have a sho an extra shovel. I guess this is yours. Member of Colony 161326? Uh, yes. That, is, that I am. Thank you, right. uh, Chris, a.k.a. whatever your name is. Yeah. Basil? Basil. Yeah, Astronaut I guess Basil. Basil. St. Basil. I have that weird cathedral in Peters St. Petersburg? Is that where it is? St. Saint, uh, Prometheus 7. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, this has been a blast. We hope you're liking it as well. Stay tuned for more. And as always, you've been great company. Bye, everyone.